Hello dear children I welcome you in today's English class Today we are going to start the explanation of reach for the top part 1 Santosh Yadav Think for a while and make a list of 3 to 5 persons you idolized or admire very much for their achievements your idols may be from any sphere of life sports medicine media or art and culture so dear children if this question comes in front of you that you have to uh, make a list of five people whom you admire most who are your idols what will be your answers let's start santosh yadav's story and you will calculate whether she can be a role model for you all the only woman in the world who has scaled mount everest twice was born in a society where the birth of a son was regarded as a blessing and a daughter though not considered a curse was not generally welcome see dear children this is the story of santosh yadav and let me tell you santosh yadav was a lady who had scaled mount everest or who had conquered mount everest twice she is the only lady in the world and if you know the background from where he she came it was as india it is it is a male dominated society and she belonged to a place where the birth of a boy child was supposed to be a blessing though the birth of a girl child was not a curse but actually it used to it uh, supposed to be a better if a boy uh, you know took birth in your family definitely this is enough to tell you that the opportunities given to the girls were limited in comparison to the opportunities given to the boys when her mother was expecting santosh a traveling holy man giving her his blessing assumed that she wanted a son so one the the time when santosh was about to come that time her mother was expecting santosh so she was pregnant at that time when holy man visited holy man a pious man visited to their house and he assumed as it used to be supposed that everybody wanted to give birth to a male child so giving his blessings assumed that he gave blessings to his her mother for a son but to everyone's surprise the unborn child's grandmother who was standing close by told him that they did not want a son the holy man was also surprised nevertheless he gave the requested blessing and as destiny would have it the blessing seemed to work so everybody got surprised when the holy man was blessing santosh mother for a for the birth of a male child so that time everybody was surprised that the grandmother Uh, just objected it and she wanted that he should give blessings for a female girl for a female or for a girl and the holy man uh, did the same he blessed her and later on santosh yadav got birth so meaning the uh, request the birth or the blessings got uh, successful as santosh yadav took birth in the family but it was a very surprising thing because it happened at that time when the boy's birth supposed to be the better at that time santosh was born the sixth child in the family with five sons a sister to five brothers because in santosh family all male uh, children uh, took birth she had five brothers and she was the sixth person no child in the family and the only daughter she was born in a small village of joniawas 
of Rewadi district in Haryana. She took birth in Haryana and it was situated in Rewadi district. The girl was given the name Santosh, which means contentment. Contentment means satisfaction. So she was given the name contentment, which means satisfaction. But this was the only thing which was not uh, possibly, you know, exist in the life of Santosh Yadav. But Santosh was not always content with her place in a traditional way of life. She began having life on her own terms from the start. She was not contented as per as the life situation which were available in front of her. She was always going against to the, uh, the regular way of living as traditional way of living. She began living life on her own terms from the start. Since beginning she wanted to have a revolutionary lifestyle which was not you know, followed the traditional things, traditional setups. Where other girls wore traditional Indian dresses, Santosh preferred shorts. See, first of all, this revolution or this uh, change or dissatisfaction came when she selected her dresses. Just as in her village, most of the girls or almost all the girls were wearing salwar kameez, the traditional Indian dress, but she preferred shorts for it. Looking back, she says now, from the very beginning, I was quite determined that if I chose a correct and a rational path, logical path, the others around me had to change, not me. Santosh said that when I am looking back, so I realized that from beginning I was like that, that if I have selected something logical and rational, and she said that when she considered herself that she was not wrong, so she never wanted to go back. She wanted that others should take a turn, not she. So dear children, in today's video, we will do this much. Thank you.